In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go from text to building a web app like this in under 10 minutes. We're gonna build and plan out our entire app. We're gonna create detailed instructions using AI to actually build it. We're gonna give all of this information and context to Cursor to build it for us without any technical knowledge. I'm gonna show you how to get your app actually deployed on its own working domain so you can have an app that generates logos for any brand in under 10 minutes. So let's do a quick demonstration. I'm gonna build a modern colorful 3D logo for an AI startup that creates knowledge bases. We're gonna click on generate and it's gonna create us four different variations of the exact same image using the most recent image generator from OpenAI. And just like that, I've generated four incredible logos for my new AI startup. So let's dive straight into this tutorial. So as with every build, we need to make sure we build a plan before we start building and diving in. So I've gone ahead and I've created this mind map using CodeSpring. Creating all of the context first is one of the most important steps to building and making sure your app is going to be, you know, bug free and scalable. So first of all, here's a list of all the different features that I've added. We've got, we need to input a brand name. It's going to generate a logo and then it's going to display that logo that's generated. Now I've actually gone into detail with each of these and I've added a bit of additional context. So for example, the generate logo is going to be a toolbar probably something like this at the bottom and then obviously we can have an input so we can type in the idea that we want for our app so I'm just adding in some context for each one of these features so you want to spend some time in your code spring account just planning out how to actually you know build and all the different features and just taking notes on what those features are going to need to do because the more context that you've got the better the end result is going to be so next thing we're going to do is actually create what's called a PRD a project requirement doc I like to think of them as recipes and these recipes are basically going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to build it and just basically all of this technical stuff that you may worry about when building CodeSpring is going to go ahead and figure all of this stuff out for us and create us like a detailed plan on how to go ahead and get it built so we can just give that to cursor to whip up this logo generator for us cool there we go the PRD has been generated so I'm going to go into the PRD section inside CodeSpring and we're just going to select the logo generator and you can read it all here so we've got an introduction we've got the goals a bit of a feature deep dive on how it's going to work and you can see it's actually planning out the data database it's generating the logo it's planning out how all of this is going to go in in terms of the database how we're going to generate the logo the roadmap in terms of the order of things we need to build and then it's also suggested the file structure for us so the next thing that we need to do is come into the course section and we need to come over to the assets and we're just going to go ahead and clone the starter template so again if you haven't got a code spring account and you want to learn how to do this in a little bit more detail I'm actually doing a live demonstration of how this app works and how you can use it to build your own tools using AI so if you're currently struggling with AI you can come to the live training the link is down below in the description so make sure you register for that and you can come along and you can see how to get access and use CodeSpring to build your own app so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to copy this and we're going to come into cursor so in cursor we're just going to create a new terminal okay so we're just going to do uh, git clone and we're going to paste that URL and then we're just going to hit enter and what this is going to do is it's going to clone this whole boilerplate now I will make some more videos on how to get everything set up so you can do this much easier if you've never done this before but you can see it's created this folder here with all of the different files that we need to get this app built okay and again you can get access to this if you if you grab access to CodeSpring so we're just going to go ahead and go to open folder and I'm just going to go into the AI logo generator and then open it up which basically means now we are inside that folder so we're going to click on new new terminal and we're just going to run npm install okay and this is just going to make sure we have everything installed in order to get this app actually working so all this is going to do now is if we come to our browser and we just go to localhost 3000 it's, it's going to go ahead and load up the template for us so this is the template that you get access to inside CodeSpring. So we've got the website you can obviously see here that i've actually already signed in and obviously we can go ahead into the dashboard part of our app so you can see we've got all of these different sections for our app all we're going to do is we're going to actually take the requirement doc that we just generated in our code spring account and we're going to get started building this ai logo generator so we're just going to copy all of this stuff here then we're going to come to cursor here so now what we're going to do is come to the navigation bar here on the left we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this dot cursor and then inside there we're going to create a folder and we're going to call it rules and then we're just going to create a new rule in here and we're going to call this uh, project plan dot mdc okay 
And all we're going to do is we're just going to paste this in here, okay? And we're going to do apply always. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to tell Cursor in every single time we send a message, it's going to give it this project plan. So basically it's just going to have a lot of context in the app that we're building. So now you don't need to be reprompting it and explaining to Cursor what it is that you're building every single time. So what we're going to do is I'm just writing out a little bit of description on what I want it to do because I don't want it to build the entire thing with the database first. That's just too much effort for this quick build. So we're just going to say we're going to build this in the dashboard page here. All of the components are going to go into a new folder. Do not create any database stuff and we're just going to send this through. Now I know a lot of this stuff can seem quite daunting but obviously by using CodeSpring a lot of it has already been done for us. Now it's actually going to go ahead and it's going to create those individual components so we're going to be able to see how this all goes together and you can see it's literally just building everything that we want. We want a toolbar so we can go ahead and we can write in the name or the description of the logo that we want. It's creating the logo canvas for us. It's doing all of this stuff for us without us having to write out all the detail. We've already planned it first in CodeSpring. Now now we've just given this massive document to Cursor and it's just going ahead and it's building all of the UI stuff for us. Cool, so it's gone ahead and it's built all the UI and it's added that to the page for us. So what we're going to do now is go into our app and we're just going to refresh the page and we're going to see what errors come in and we're going to get it to debug if anything happens. So first of all, you can see it's pretty much one shot at it. We've got the canvas so we can go ahead and actually enter our brand name. I don't think it's actually gone ahead and it hasn't actually created the action for us. So now we're going to again tag the project plan. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a new action and this action is basically going to be where the features are. Now we don't need to describe what it does because all of that's done already in the project plan. I think that's probably enough for now. So again we're going to send that through and again a lot of this detail is already in the project plan so we just need to give it a little bit of guidance on what we want it to build. You can see very quickly we're starting to put an app together and there's some things we would probably want to change as we go through. So what I'll do for you guys is if you register for the live class with the link down below in the description I'll give you guys this code base here for this app so you can go ahead and download it and get it set up so I'll give you that full boilerplate if you come along and actually show up and watch the entire live class the link for that is down below in the description so we're going to go ahead and accept these last changes so now you can see here we've got this little action file logo generator right what this is just going to do is it's basically going to be the the place where we can send the prompt to open AI to create us those images so now what we're going to do is explain the features and how we want it to work so for example in the image generator which is this file here this is where everything is going to happen okay so we just need to say send the user prompt from the toolbar which is from this right when I click generate it needs to go to OpenAI, okay? And we're just gonna add in here, OpenAI documentation. Then we're gonna send this four times because we want four different variations of the same logo that we can show to that user. Then finally, when I click generate, I want it to actually send it, generate the images, I've told it which model to use, and then it's going to show them in the image node, okay? So it's actually created this file for us, again, from using the CodeSpring plan. And this image node here will hopefully be like a little square, which will show the images once they're done. So we're just gonna send that through. And again, it's gonna go ahead and make those changes for us. So all we're going to do is just come in and we're going to give it a test. So we're going to create an AI chatbot generate logo, okay? And we're going to click on generate. And you can see what it's done is it's created us these little image nodes, okay? So we actually have them in a two by two grid. You'll remember, actually, if we come into our CodeSpring project, and we click on the logo generator. We said around here we want to have a two by two grid. It's gone ahead and it's already created that for us. Now the problem that we have here is it actually failed to generate the logo variations. The other thing we can do is just right click, click on inspect. We're just going to copy all of this and we're going to paste this in here and we're just going to send that through and it's going to try and fix that bug for us. And then obviously if you're using CodeSpring and you're using the boilerplate, if you want to, you can you know remove these different things down here or you can change them, you can add different features, but we're just adding in this one simple feature for now. Okay, so you can see here it's trying to use DALI 3, but I want it to use GPT image 1. So we're going to say uh, GPT image 1 open and we're going to come into here we're going to copy this link and we're going to say uh, one, we are using GPT image one um, and then let's get back let's come to this one here and we're going to copy that link and I'll paste it in there okay so all I've done again is I've just copied all of this information here as well and I've just given it directly in my prompt and I've told it that we're not using uh, DALI 3 we're using GPT image one hopefully now it's going to have all the information that it needs in order to be able to create this for us okay so we're just going to give this another test come through but hopefully we should see some results coming through in a minute 
And there we go, you can see it's literally just generated us four different variations. So we've got each one of these that we can move around. We could, you know, you could create a different feature where you could order them, you could put them into, into files or I don't know, whatever you wanted to do really, you could come up with your own different ideas. So now what we want to do is just fix some of the UI things. We want to first of all, move this little toolbar down to the bottom, and then we just want to add a download button onto each one of these images so we can download those images. So now we're just going to come into here and we're going to say one, move the app and then toolbar down to the bottom center to add a download button to download. I think that's probably it for now. So let's just send that through and get that going. Now there are lots of other different features that you could build. So for example, we could have a drop down and we could select some sort of style. So you could have predetermined styles for your logos. But for now, obviously I just wanted to show you that you could build something incredibly quickly. And I'm gonna show you then how to actually deploy this app. So the first thing we need to do now, while all of that's going is make sure that we actually have a GitHub repo set up. Now I'm assuming you guys understand how to do this, but just go ahead and create a GitHub, GitHub account. And we're just gonna call this AI logo generator. Okay. And I'm actually going to make this public because I'm going to give this, like I said, I'll give you guys access to this code base. If you show up and stick around for the whole live class, the link is down below in the description, which is going to show you how to use CodeSpring in more detail to build apps like this, how to validate ideas, which tools you need to be using. And I'm basically going to show you how to build your own apps using AI and then show you how to get access to CodeSpring as well. So we're going to go ahead, AI logo generator, and we're just going to create this repository. We're going to accept these changes here and we're going to come back and we're going to see, cool. So it's moved all this around. It has a little download button and it's put this down at the bottom now we still need to send to this but if we just click on download here it actually goes ahead and downloads that image so if we like what we built we can go ahead and download it so now what you can see here is we've generated this repo so we're just going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to come into our terminal and I'm just going to clear this terminal quickly now here's a little trick of if you don't understand how to do all of this stuff all you need to do is just do command K and we're just going to write in here can you this code base from the current repo and delete the commit history. Okay, and then you're gonna send that through and it's just gonna go ahead and turn that plain English into an actual command. Okay, so it's gonna remove that. Cool, so now we've done that, all we need to do is we need to say, okay, now can you link this code base to this repo and push it initial commit, something like that, okay? And you're just gonna send that through and generate us a prompt. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on enter. While it's doing that, it's also gone ahead and accepted these latest changes. And there we go, you can see it's now currently on GitHub, so the app is basically working. The next thing we need to do is come over to Vercel, and we're gonna go ahead and we're actually going to create a new project. Now I assume you guys, if you haven't already, you guys need to go ahead and create an account on vercel.com and create an account and link your GitHub. It will walk you through exactly what you need to do. We're just gonna go ahead and add a new project. And from here, we're just gonna go ahead and select the AI logo generator that we have just added. So we're gonna go ahead and click on import. And then here in the environment variables, I'm not gonna show you, but you need to go into the folder here down into your uh, env.local file. And basically you will have OpenAI API key equals, and then there is the API key that you need to put in in order to be able to link your app directly into OpenAI so you can generate these images. So once you've done this, all you need to do is copy that and you need to come into Vercel. You need to paste in the actual value of your API key. So that will need to go in here. Now I've just added mine in and then you're just gonna click on deploy. And now what this is gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and get the app ready to be deployed. So we're just gonna wait for this. This is probably gonna take about a minute or two. And when it comes back with any bugs, we're gonna go ahead and send those bugs either back to cursor or we're gonna redeploy and try and get it actually working on its own domain. So you can go ahead and send it to your friends. And then just like that, our app is ready to go. So if we go to continue to dashboard here, you can see it's given us this URL. If we go ahead and click it, it's gonna take us directly to the app. So we can go, go ahead and actually sign in and actually start using our app. So we're just gonna go ahead and generate another variation. So we're gonna go for a modern 3D logo for an AI startup called Cluely. Uh, and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna generate these images for us. Now, if we decide we wanna add new features or we wanna make any changes, all we need to do is continue developing in the way that I've showed you. And then once you've done with that, you just need to come back to your terminal. You need to do git add, git commit minus M. And then in here, you just need to write out what you've done. So I don't know, added new feature. Okay, close the quotes and then do git 
push. So you, and what this is basically going to do, if we come to our deployments, you can see it's actually creating a new deployment. So this is the next steps. This is the new feature that you've added. When this successfully builds, then when you reload your website, everybody who's currently logged in or using it will have access to those latest features. So you can see here we've got all of these different logos. Let's say, for example, I like this one. I can go ahead and I can download it and I can create. There we go. I've got my logo generated for my new startup. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this full tutorial on how to build your first AI app using CodeSpring. So if you would like to get access to all of this code for this app build, all you need to do is click the link below this video, register for the live class and come along and learn how to use CodeSpring to build your own apps entirely with AI. Make sure you show up on time and stick around until the end, otherwise you will not be able to get access to this code base.